Yeah. You got to mix the coaches. good with the bad. The- <laughs> yep. Facts. Listen, that, that's my that's my man. Go ahead. God is gooder than Rumble. I'm from down south, we say gooder. <laughs> God is gooder. Yeah, God's gooder than Rumble. Even though Rumble plays, but Rumble on the team today, my Rumble on the team. Dude. I saw somebody tell me sometimes, fuck it, like, you hear my grandma? No, my grandma ain't doing it. She gonna tell me when he's in here. I got a good grandma. So, but the thing is, if grandma was good, and she ain't gonna put you in jeopardy and put you in harm's way, anybody ever heard the term, God had to sit you down? Yeah. Well, why? Is this a good place? No. Anybody read the Bible for, right? Yeah. Is God had to sit you down in the Bible? Well, why would we think God had Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross and went to hell in my place. God is gooder than me. And I receive him as my personal Lord and Savior. Now, Lord, give me the grace, the strength to want to do and obey your perfect will and open my understanding to who you truly are and where you want me to be in this life. Grace my interest to be interested in your things, in Jesus' name. And I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. Now, Lord, give me the so yeah, so um, Pasha Pack he has a, uh, a nonprofit organization called Breaking Bags, and it's uh, um, and it's promoting and it is promoting the goodness of God. Uh, he goes to prisons with another organization called Go For Me Nine. Uh, they say he goes to neighborhoods. They go and they go all around the globe. And he said to this day, to this day, he has saved you know over. He said say well almost fifteen thousand people. You know, and turn them, turn them to the Lord. So, hey, man, this this is this is cool, man. This is to see, you know, a brother like Project Pack, Business Legend, you know, turn around and be the pastor and try to help, you know, and try to help people, you know, who needs help. So, go ahead, uh, Ronnie, man. What's your take on Project Pack being a pastor? And doing, I think he's doing. doing I, think he do, I think he's doing a good thing. I think um, at the same time, people tend to um, change, and when they and when they change for themselves, they try to try to find change in other people and to him going around going to different prisons and telling people about god and telling about the wonderful thing he have done pretty much for him and also for the world so it's to me it's beautiful to see and i think he's doing a wonderful thing because people in the prison a lot of them are losing a lot of hope because some of them are doing lifetime sentences that they would never see the light of day so for someone like him to come in and give him that money that motivation that courage and to, to keep moving forward and to know that there's hope after this world to me, that's a beautiful thing to see. But go ahead, Akeem, because I know you know more information about him than I do. Girl, Can I, I get a this. north, north, north? I said that for a reason. Now, remember the last show we did when we talked about T. Grizzly, right? And he went to schools. This person here, Project Pack, is qualified. And let's get something straight. He has been to prison, not once, not twice, but three times. Him coming in there talking, it was in his element. This is Juicy J's older brother. Let's get that straight for a lot of who don't know. This is Juicy J's older brother. They got different. Um, they got different dads, but same mama. This is why you ain't never seen Project Pat talk about he's hurting for money or anything. His deal's always been good. But I remember when he was in jail, he was doing a five-year bid for a robbery. So seeing him transition, first off, let's get something straight. We have yet to hear any new music where he's talking about robbing people and doing all sorts of mess. I've yet to hear any new music. He's been on the positive tick for the last couple years. So this is just to see the growth in the nymph compared to what T Grizzly is doing. No disrespect to the young boy, but Project Pat is qualified. Can I get a North North? Project Pat, 
thank you as a brother who loved you and consumed your music. And here's the funny thing is, his music never made me want to go rob anybody. Never made me want to go steal. It was pure Southern hip hop that you laugh and you gig and you want to go get you some money. But to see him, it's a proud statement to see the music has aged well and he has aged as a man. And that's true to see, man. And you said Patrick Pat, you know, all the things he went to, that he has a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge, a lot of knowledge to get to, to somebody. Why you why crazy? Why you crazy? Why, 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 why are you coming in out of nowhere? Why I thought about that for like five minutes? Oh my God. With a favor of God. But go ahead, Jordan. Yeah, going back to Project Pack, you know, he has some wisdom, he has some knowledge, and he has the word to give out to a lot of people. And it's it's really great to see Project Pack doing this, you know, with his, you know, with his nonprofit and also working with another nonprofit that's trying to help, you know, people around the world and he's helping and he he's healing it and he's healing. So, you know, proud of Project Pack, you know, hopefully we'll see a lot more rappers, hopefully transition to suffer, not not transfer to a pastor, but you know, maybe had non profit non nonprofits to help, you know, other people around the world that needs that needs help as well. So, you know, Project Pat when it comes to Memphis, he's setting the standard and he and he's continuing that standard. So yeah, it's good to see. So shout out to you, Project Pat, man. You're doing God's work. We appreciate you. God work indeed. I don't say he do I don't say like why I say, well, man rob God. No, you cannot. Project Pat doing something big. He doing something extraordinary. And I think everybody should take note, especially in the hip hop community. To me, if you change your life, go reach out to somebody. You never know who you may change. Uh, Project Pat reached what about fifteen? You said fifteen thousand. Yeah. People got saved under his um ministry. That's really mm -hmm. good. It's really good. But look at this. This is somebody who's from the ghetto, who's been in jail, who's been in the hip hop scene, who has kids. And he's lived the life. He's relatable. And mm -hmm. this is no offense to a lot of people. Some people get into certain fields trying to preach and do this. You can't go to the ghetto and preach God and accept us to accept it if you we can't relate to you. Or right. we, we can't feel where you're coming from. When I hear Project, listen, when Project Pack say God is good, not good. Everybody in there understand where he was coming from as a Southern man. The relatability, even the white guys in there, they're Southerners. They speak the same language we speak. Some of them grew up in the same neighborhood. So they even relate to Project Pack. And that's one thing, too. There's no 60 degrees of separation when you and a person who might be from a different ethnic group. As long as he's still in the same mud you in, there's relatability. Facts. 